Unfortunately, it doesn't appear that things will get any easier for us as consumers in the near future. In fact, we're about to face another wave of price increases in our grocery stores, from reduced supplies to higher transportation costs and explosive commodity costs. Over the past year, we've seen some unprecedented changes in our food industry, particularly when it comes to pricing. Numerous issues that retailers and manufacturers are dealing with will ultimately hurt our wallets. According to the most recent food price report, which was just released this week, we will see an additional 7% growth on top of the already significant 10.4% gain we've experienced over the previous 12 months. That's a significant increase in the amount of money we'll need to spend just to put food on the table. In fact, the average American family of four will have to spend $16,288 on food in 2023, up more than $1,000 from this year. But what does that mean for our grocery lists? We've produced a list of the top 20 food items that will face price increases in the upcoming weeks and months, and we'll be paying more for practically everything we buy, from fresh produce to pantry staples. However, don't worry because we have some money-saving advice to help you maximize your grocery budget. Before we get started, we kindly ask for your support by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel because we're dedicated to bringing you the most recent information on food prices. According to a new analysis by Indexbox, the cost of grapefruit in the United States is expected to increase by 7.1% this year. This is brought on by rising fertilizer and logistics costs, a decline in domestic. The average retail price of grapefruit in the United States was $1.02 per pound, up 12% from the previous year. Companies like Kraft Heinz and Campbell's are struggling to find enough ingredients in aluminium cans to keep up with demand, which is driving up prices. Supply with output expected to drop by 13% to 3, 43,000 tons of smaller harvest in Texas and California in 2022. We should anticipate similar price increases for other soups throughout the year after Irons recently announced a 40 price rise for their well-known tomato soup. Since the end of 2021, the tightening of the world's milk supplies has affected margarine prices, raising the cost of produced dairy products. According to a research by the U.S. Agricultural Department, in the following months, demand for the product is anticipated to increase due to tighter margarine supply, a dramatic increase in the price of edible oils, and Indonesia's prohibition on palm oil exports. Margarine prices increased by 32% in 2022, and this year they are anticipated to rise by another 12%. Even more affordable meat options are seeing price rises as businesses like Tyson Foods and ConAgra inform its retail customers of impending price hikes for frozen and refrigerated meats, resulting in a 44% increase in two years as more consumers convert from butter to margarine. Burgers and hot dogs from ballparks are some of the things that may see hikes. State Fair Canines, breakfasts in a bag from Jimmy Dean lunch meat, Oscar Mayer hot dogs, Hebrew national sausage, and Hillshire farm sausage. Be prepared to pay extra at the register as the price increases vary from 10.9% to 12.6%. Florida, one of the nation's top producers of oranges, is currently experiencing a 51% reduction in production. Because of a supply chain issue, orange futures prices have increased by 42%, and the price of oranges rose by 13.8% in 2022. Retailers are currently determining the degree of the price hikes. According to food experts, we're set to witness at double-digit increases. A bushel of corn now costs more than twice as much as it did a year ago due to a 50% increase in price in 2022. Corn is one of the most notable raw materials to have experienced a sharp rise, prompting companies to raise their prices for goods and causing investors to worry that inflation will get worse in 2023. Maize items like baking and cooking staple cornmeal are anticipated to experience shortages and higher prices as a result of China's maize stockpiling efforts to fatten millions of pigs and replace the ones that it had to slaughter due to African swine flu. The price increase of bananas in recent months, which has also affected other major banana suppliers such as Colombia, Costa Rica, Ecuador, and Guatemala, has made it increasingly clear that producing bananas is becoming more and more expensive. 
increased fertilizer costs, disruptions in shipping and freight, and the emergence of the Panama disease have all contributed to this price increase. Due to the interruption in the supply chain, analysts predict that the price of bananas will continue to grow, with consumers soon having to pay an additional 6% for the fruit. Demand for fish sticks has been steadily rising, as families look for more affordable protein options amid rising meat and poultry prices at Walmart. For example, the same Gordon's 30-ounce family pack that used to sell for $6.59 in the previous quarter is currently selling for $1.08. This is due to the decline in fish populations in Canada caused by a massive heat wave that killed approximately 1 billion sea creatures. Therefore, those who like fish sticks should think about stockpiling up since costs are only predicted to rise. Prices for fruit and glass are soaring along with sugar prices. The National Farmers Association notes that weaker-than-anticipated fruit harvests are expected to result in slower jam production across the country with the cost of ingredients and materials increasing by approximately 30%, according to USDA data. Jam prices may experience a 9.5 to 11% rise in the first quarter of 2023. Because of the growing costs, one of the largest producers of biscuits in the world, Plainus, has stated that the price of biscuits is expected to quadruple in 2023. The company has had to increase its prices by 15% as a result of the escalating commodity prices and supply issues. Consumers should expect to spend much more for biscuits in the upcoming year, according to Managing Director David Murray, who admitted that the food business has experienced serious challenges in the past, but emphasized that the combination and scope of these issues are unprecedented. While these circumstances may be beyond our control, there are steps we can take to lessen the impact on our grocery budgets. As we navigate through these difficult times, it's important to stay informed about the state of the grocery industry. Many businesses and retailers have been warning about potential shortages and price readjustments due to a variety of factors such as supply chain disruptions, labor shortages, and weather-related events. Organizing ahead of time, purchasing in large quantities, and taking advantage of bargains and discounts are just a few strategies to stretch our money further. As we adjust to this shifting environment, it's crucial to remain vigilant and informed. By staying up to date with the latest news and trends in the grocery industry, we can make informed decisions that benefit ourselves and others. It's also important to take into account alternative sources of food, such as local farmers markets or community-supported agriculture programs. These options not only support local businesses, but can also provide fresher, more sustainable options for our diets. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to activate bell notifications to be alerted whenever a new video is posted. Stay safe and stay well.